at 38 years old, I took in my four and five year old nieces and I've had them ever since. I'm now 45. They've been here seven years. And then I was recently told that my life did not change because I took them in. Well, it was actually said directly to my niece by her mother who said that me taking them in did not change my life. And if she thought that, she needs to think again. Somewhere in that line of wording. So I wanted to hit on it. I don't know why someone would think that a 38-year-old man taking in a four and five-year-old girls, kids, boys, doesn't matter, into their life, wouldn't change things. See, uh, I had a girlfriend for like 16 years at that time. And when I said I was going to take the kids in, she said she wanted no part of it if I was going to do it. I did it anyway. We went our own ways. So, it's one thing that, I don't know, slightly changed. Then I had a one-bedroom cabin that I had been in for 10 years. I was content with my cabin. I loved the spot on the Muskegon River. Loved the property. Loved the neighborhood. Loved the price. Guess what? I built another house, pretty much just from the frame up, right down the road, to accommodate two bedrooms for two girls. I spent $15,000 to fix the house so we could move into it. I owe $45,000 still on the house so that we could fit here. When I fit over there, they have two bedrooms. I sleep in the living room on the floor on a mattress that I haul back and forth out the rooms so that people don't see the mattress. That changed. I had a bedroom and a bed. Had a box spring and everything, a frame. Oh man, it was so nice. Now I drive three hours a day to get them to school. And I know everybody's like, oh, well, it's your choice. You take them that far. Yes, it is. It's my choice that I took them to a better school than the one that was in town. It is my choice that I took them out of a racist town with more racist people, including staff, and I gave them a better opportunity in a school further away. Yes, I know. It's my fault that I spend three hours a day on the road taking them to a better school to have a better opportunity. It is my fault, and I'm perfectly fine with that. But my life did change. My income pays every bill that I have. Pays every bill. Doesn't pay for the extras. I don't have hair. I don't need to buy conditioner. I don't even buy shampoo. For me. But I spent about $50 a month on that shit for them. This pile of dishes out here I'm about to go do, it'd be about half that size if it was just me. You hear the laundry in the background going? There's a pile of it and it's not my clothes. These cars I have to go through and keep putting money into to get them back and forth to appointments and soccer and, and, and cross country across the state. Haven't missed the race in two years. Nothing's changed. 
I used to just do that for fun. You know, I just hung out at the fucking school events on my own. Come on, man. Now I'm single, been single for a long time. Raising two girls on my own. And nothing's changed. The nerve of some people. The nerve.